What it do, what it do is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just dropped uh, a video about Usyk and how good I think he is. And uh, I think that's a very interesting video. And I was kind of going to leave it alone because I'm finna go live a little later on. Yeah, like I said, I'll probably go live on YouTube, uh, and, and, and we're going to go live, uh, me and Coach Tommy, but, but we, it, it's going to be a lot more about, it's going to be a lot more, uh, shit than, than that, uh, Joshua Usyk fight. It would not be totally about that shit. We're going to talk a lot of shit. Hell, we might even go back to the segments and talk about some shit. Yeah, we might, might talk about the heavyweight division back then or some shit. We're just going to really cook, though. That's all it's about. We, we're going to be in the kitchen and it's going to be a lot of sauce in it. So yeah, just come get some of this sauce man but uh i just seen some shit and now i'm aware of some shit and some shit didn't caught my eye and and, and now i'm, I'm, I'm kind of peeped some shit uh ladies and gentlemen uh i want to make a prediction uh i predict tyson fury will snitch uh yeah i think it's in him i think he's gonna fold i don't think he's strong enough uh, he's very worried. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something. I didn't realize how big this shit was. You know, cause the the, the main media they've been hiding it. They really been hiding this uh, Daniel Kenahan case. Uh, for for those who don't know, uh, Daniel Kenahan is a mob boss. Uh, he's a worldwide motherfucker. This motherfucker, he got warrants everywhere. Yeah, they want him all over the world. He traffics drugs. He's a kingpin. He's a supplier. Yeah, he got dope over here in Harlem somewhere. He got dope everywhere. That motherfucker got dope from Harlem to China. He, he he he's a drug lord, and that's who Tyson Fury was signed to. Yeah, they do business together. And I told you, motherfuckers, if Wilder had a it, imagine if Wilder was signed to a big meech. You motherfuckers, let me tell you some black folks. Y'all would have crucified him, and y'all would have accused him of selling dope. Y'all would have told him he's a thug. Yeah, I'm, I'm just just a little reminder to you, motherfuckers. Uh, Daniel Kenahan is bad news, bro. He bad fucking news. He bad news. And he, I don't know if y'all remember when Sonny Liston, you know, he was signed to that mob boss. At the time, uh, Sonny Liston was signed to the biggest mob boss in America. And he, he wasn't just a fighter. Uh, Sonny Liston used to do a lot of work for uh, the mob boss. He used to fuck motherfuckers off. Uh, he used to get money that they motherfuckers owed. He put in a lot of work. And, and, and kind of, I'm trying to kind of, and, and they shitted on Sonny Liston. They said he was a thug. He wasn't shit. Yeah, a lot of people hated uh, uh, Sonny Liston, but uh, uh, Fury. Let me tell you something. When you work for a mob boss, it's more than just you're not you're not just a fighter, bro. Uh, you got to put in work. It, when you work for a so-called gangster, you you more than just a fighter, pimping. Uh, it's certain fights they need you to win. It's certain fights they can't afford for you to lose. Yeah, and 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 so yeah, uh, Fury tied in with some shit, man. And another thing, uh, I told you, I, I didn't know about this interview. This is the interview that broke the straw off the goddamn camel's back. Uh, I want y'all to pay attention of how book uh Fury's eyes is. Uh, he was doing perfectly fine. He was giving a good interview, but when they brought up Daniel Kenahan, Tyson Fury lost his goddamn mind. Uh, let me tell you something. I can picture him on the stand. That's how I look at it. At this video, I want you to picture Tyson Fury on the stand, and I want you to tell me, do you believe him? That motherfucker looked like, I'm telling you, he started skitsing, bro. I, I want you, he started blinking a lot. That motherfucker started twitching and shaking. Uh, yeah, that motherfucker had a whole relapse. Uh, that motherfucker, yeah, he needed a bump. Uh, I'm telling you, that bro, and I'm surprised. I gotta give a shout out to you white boys in, uh, Scott Sport. Let me tell you something. UK, I think y'all, yeah, y'all definitely some better white folks than these white folks over here in America. That's for damn sure. It ain't a white boy more evil than these American whites. Uh, I, I'd rather deal with a Russian white boy than an American white boy. Yeah, the American white boy, they police killers. Uh, I think I can go to Russia and live there And I ain't got to worry about the laws killing me Yeah, They may treat me bad But the laws ain't going to kill my kids And try to turn them into some weird shit But so yeah I think the American white boy Yeah that's the evilest one of them, of them all So yeah uh, UK I got to give a shout out to y'all man uh, Y'all ask y I'm telling you something Y'all ask tougher questions than top rank Than uh, PBC um, Right now Sky Sports Y'all the go to promotions uh, Shout out to you Y'all the only ones who have asked Tyson Fury the tough 
tough questions. Y'all the only ones who done it. And I watched your theory. You turned on your whole goddamn country. Uh, that white boy was your friend. Uh, when he asked about Kenahan, uh, Fury just got, man, he started talking crazy. He started blinking. Uh, matter of fact, let's just play a little bit of it. You see them eyes? Um, I've just had a million questions about all this rubbish before. Um, but like I said to them, it's none of my business, and I don't get involved in other people's business, so it doesn't really concern me. What the hell you mean it ain't none of your goddamn business? You signed to him, pimping. I don't know if y'all know about the law. I don't know if you know a uh, conspiracy is a motherfucker. Yeah, if I'm if I'm fucking with you and I'm doing business with you, say I got a barber shop and yeah yeah I fucks with you and and yeah you you come put money into my barber shop and and you wash a little money through there. Uh, I ain't selling dope. I just got a barber shop. Uh, but when you get popped. Uh, anybody associated pimping uh that means you tyson fury uh so it do, it do got something to do with your pimping uh yeah you guilty than a motherfucker but was he involved at all in, in, in this fight uh, no nope, no involvement and uh, do you do you still speak to him is he still somebody that is close to you will you speak to him um he's not my father let's just say that Obviously, a lot has been made of the fact that you were pictured with him in, in February. Does that suggest that you are still close to him? Um, to be honest, I've never been close to anybody apart from my wife and my kids. So there we are. I mean, it's obviously a serious matter. I mean, but again, it's none of my concern, none of my interest. But, but it was somebody that you had business dealings with. Did you regret being close to him? Um, I like to say, none of my interest and none of my concern at all. I don't regret. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out once again to Scott's boy. I gotta find this white boy. Yeah, we need a white boy like that over here. We need a white boy to do interviews like that over here. Cause these white boys over here, they very trickery. Yeah, I want. Yeah, you look like an honest white boy. Uh, whoever that is, and, and he might lose his job. Uh, he might lose his job. I think. I think. Yeah, they might tell him to stop being so aggressive. But shout out to your uh, white boy, uh, UK white boy. Uh, yeah, keep asking tough questions like that. And put these motherfuckers feet to the fire. Uh, yeah. Uh, you you, you notice? Uh, Fury didn't want to mention. No, he said, "Do you still talk to him? Uh, are y'all cool? Uh, do you regret having him as your promote?" That motherfucker didn't want to answer nothing. He didn't want to answer none of that. That sounds like signs of guilt because I'm gonna tell you something. When you are upstanding, yeah, white Jesus. Remember, he said he's a Christian. Uh, he's a Christian. He's a Bible uh, boy. So yeah, he should be mad at a Ken. He should be talking shit about a Ken and saying he has no idea and he don't fuck with that type of shit and he don't want to surround himself around no type of shit like that. He don't fuck with drugs. But now he's a dope fiend. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's anything. Life's too short for it, right? But like I say, none of my business and none of my concern. And will you Somebody asked me about Ukraine recently. None of my concern or business. It's not nothing to do with me. I keep my own business to myself. But the difference between that and Ukraine is that obviously Daniel Kinnan is somebody that you've had a personal business yeah, but I've also Did you hear that? Uh, once again, shout out to you, Scott Sports. Uh, he made Fury look like the dolphin he is. Uh, he's not, uh, Fury's not very smart. That's why I know when that goddamn DA agent and, 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 and them goddamn detectives, when they hem him up and they put him in that interrogation room and, and yeah, he starts sweating and they keep him in there about four hours. Uh, Fury is finna give, I'm telling you, and he might give up Bob. And, uh, yeah, some shit might happen to Fury. I'm telling you, I I'm going to be honest, his family in danger right now. Yeah, all them Furies, all them gypsies, yeah, them wrong turn hills have eyes and looking motherfuckers, all you motherfuckers are in danger right now. Fury done put all y'all in jeopardy, uh, the Furies, uh, the gypsy, the whole gypsy nation is up in arms right now. I don't think you know how dangerous of a situation this is, but, yeah, it's pretty goddamn dangerous, pimping. I've a personal business relationship with Vladimir Klitschko, haven't I? Don't forget we made each other millions of dollars. But there you go. So it's the same, isn't it? No, no, I mean, it, it's slightly different because you don't have the personal involvement with the war in Ukraine and what is happening there, whether this is something that you have had a personal involvement with somebody in the US authorities. Okay, say and what do you want me to do about that? No, I mean, I'm just asking you whether... And I've told you three times, it's nothing to do with me and I don't care. But it obviously was something... And for all you honest black motherfuckers out there... Uh, let me give you motherfuckers a scenario. 
uh, Furious was signed to Kenahan. He's been with him, and the dude is a drug lord. And now he's on the goddamn run. Let me explain something to you motherfuckers how guilty uh, Fury is. Uh, Fury is just as guilty as as that goddamn uncle that, that hangs with old dope smoking duck. Yeah, he hangs with dope smoking duck, but he keeps saying he don't smoke dope. It ain't, and the whole family talk about him, because y'all know he smoke dope, because he hang around a uh, duck the dope fiend. So, yeah, when you hang around a dope fiend, you is a dope fiend. So, yeah, I just wanted to explain that to y'all. What's to do with you in the past? No, it's never. What well, a man does in his own business, it's none of my concern. I'm a boxing man. I don't get involved in anybody's business at all. If you if you wouldn't have done whatever you've done, I don't care what you do. It's none of my concern. I don't want to concern about what I do. And I don't do anything apart from box. End off. And, and going forward, yeah. after having seen what the US authorities have said, will you be severing all the ties with him? Um, you know, what the US have said, the US have said. And that's it. We have to listen to the government, and that's what we do. End off. Because I don't want to get in trouble with the US government, which I, I've never have been. And that's it. So you won't be dealing with it. Wow. Uh... I don't know if y'all peeped that. For one, Fury tried to compare uh, Canahan to the shit in Ukraine. Uh, anybody else business is they business. Then the white boy told him, no, nah, you can't compare that to Ukraine because you ain't signed to no Ukraine. You signed to Canahan and he's in trouble and you signed to him. And then he also said, do you plan on separating from him? Uh, do you want to disassociate disassoci dis yourself with him? Uh, Fury didn't really answer that. He went around the bush. So, this you know this man is a drug dealer, a drug lord, and you was a Christian boy, remember? Remember Jesus saved you from crack. Remember Jesus when you was behind that abandoned building with broken fauders, uh Code 45 and needles in your arms. Yeah, uh it was Jesus that brought you from that. So yeah, evidently you forgot about Jesus because Jesus wouldn't associate associate itself with a Kenahan uh theory. This is why it's going for I haven't done any deal in business with him in the last for, for a long time. Uh, I think there was a statement put, released in 2020. So that was the end of the business. But the fight with Joshua didn't happen and that was it. Well, Barrow said that he'd made more than a million dollars in yeah, that fight. Yeah, I've seen that. So he was, he was involved in those uh, What Bob Arum does with his own money is Bob Arum's business. If he goes and spends on gummy bears, I can't pop. I don't care what he does with it. He's got plenty to, to give out. So what Bob does with his own money ain't my concern, is it? Uh, say, uh, pimping, uh, Bob Arum ain't the one signed to Kenahan. Uh, you are. So it's kind of common sense that if Bob pay Kenahan, that means it's for you. Yeah, it's for him representing you. So yeah, that means Kenahan got some money for some shit that he did. Yeah, when you get money, that means you provided a service to somebody uh, pimping. So yeah, uh, Fury, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm just listening to how you responded to this white boy. Uh, you're not gonna go do do good in that interrogation room. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you're not gonna do very good pimping. And I see you folding. Uh, for one, you soft. Uh, you're not a you're not a strong minded individual. Uh, you a dope fiend, and uh, we 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 know uh we know the story of your pimping. Uh, and yeah, I see you relapsing. If you ain't already relapsed, uh, yeah, you gonna tell it. You gonna tell it. Uh, or, or they gonna touch you before you tell. Yeah, cause you know how my about. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. Uh, all that you ain't dealt with uh Kenahan since 2020. Let me tell you something. You can't deal with a drug lord and get out of it, pimping. Once you start fucking with him, that shit you locked in and you know it, and your family locked in. So I don't know what you're gonna do. I don't know how much you love your family. Uh I don't know if you're gonna stay strong. Uh yeah, but I, I think you're gonna tell it. I think you're gonna tell it. I think you're gonna tell it on all of them. I think we gonna it's gonna be the biggest story in American history, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh the whole plot. Uh, what they did with Wilder All that's finna come out uh, Wilder said it And I'm gonna tell you something Wilder you starting to look like a prophet uh, Pimpin You said it was done in the dark We'll come to the light And I remember the speech you gave And yeah you said this shit was gonna come to a head And it's coming to a head Pimpin This is 903 Boxing I'm your host Charles J With that I'm out